Hey guys, so Brian here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, the uh, I had to uh, go to an, the kind of my second secondary uh, local coin shop uh, today. I'm just kind of curious. We saw my last video. I was talking about some of the shortages. My main guy definitely was having some some issues keeping some stock, and uh, and so I, I was really tempted to. Uh, go to a kind of my kind of the, my secondary shop, if you will, and um, I was surprised to see that you know that the second guy he he actually had uh, plenty of silver. So I, I you know was elated to see it actually that he actually had even generics, which was really what I was going to primarily see was you know do they have any generics or not, and so uh, that was uh, I was glad to see they still had plenty of generics. Uh, one of the one of the workers there, he did say that they, you know, that, you know, the, uh, I guess the owners and stuff, they did have some stuff kind of stashed, you know. So I think they've had to kind of dip into some of their some of their stash uh, to to get it out there in order to keep your shelves stocked. But, uh, but I've been impressed with that that uh, coin shop is, uh, which they do tend to have more, I think, overall stock than my main guy, um, but they're also a little bit more uh, higher in premiums a lot of times. So. You know, I, uh, you know, I always go back to my main guy, typically, especially for like, you know, eagles and stuff like that, uh, you know, and even generics um, when I bought some of those. But uh, I usually got better deals for my main guy when it comes for stuff like, you know, the eagles and uh, maples and stuff. So, um, and stuff. But, uh, but I am impressed with the second shop that, you know, uh, was pretty well stocked with some variety of stuff. So I wanted to show what I ended up grabbing today. I went ahead and grabbed a couple of generics here. Uh, so I got I got a uh, here's a generic a buffalo a buffalo head. Uh, there's that. And then the second one, it almost looks the same, but it's actually a little different. I'm trying to I'm actually trying to uh, find this online, and maybe some of you guys might be able to help on that. Uh, if you notice on the bottom of this. It says copy number. There's actually a copy number to it, and uh, but it still says one ounce, uh, nine 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 fine silver, and then look at this on the back, it has a date on it, two thousand one. Okay, uh, I I was trying to look online a little bit tonight. I'm like you know I was just kind of I was kind of intrigued by it because it came like this in the case actually, and so it's one thing that kind of stood out. I thought well it already came with a case. So I wonder, you know, I felt like maybe it's a maybe it was a proof coin originally, but if you can see on the edge, let that zoom in there. You see some edge. There's definitely some some wear on one kind of the corner of it. Now the guy did say I confirmed with the one of the guys up there, and they said, yeah, they, I mean they they test all their stuff that they buy, uh, you know, with the machine thing. Um, I can't think of the name of what it's called, but. Um, you know, they, so they say te they test every coin, and they say he said that this one definitely passed in terms of being, uh, you know, real silver. And so that kind of took my concern of it being a silver clad coin. That that's kind of my worry um, with that. Would, you know, would be if it was a silver clad coin. You know, I also when I got home tonight, um, I also did a magnet test. You know, which you can do some some of those will work with a case on. I actually have a little magnet that um, comes on a keychain. And uh, and stuff. Now you can take this thing off here too if you want. Sometimes, but it still it still can work. Uh, but I took the case off earlier and, and, and did the magnet uh, test on the both sides, and uh, no issues with it sticking, you know, or anything like that. So it's it seems it seems to be real silver, um, uh, you know. So uh, it does make me a little nervous, you know. Um, and I thought I just thought, well, maybe it was like a, some kind of a commemorative coin or something, but it's just. Most of these you see, it's got a date down here uh, at the bottom of the Indian head. There'd be a date down there. It says, so it's a little bit different, and they wouldn't have a date down here at all. And on the back, on the uh, on the the uh, reverse side, it wouldn't have like a date down here typically. Um, and most of these don't have a date at all. Like if you get a regular generic, uh, that's why it really stood out because you know, they don't you know have a date on them. You know, so it has to be some kind of a commemorative or something on it uh, but guys if you know what that is let me know uh, i'd be curious to see what see your thoughts on it do you think it's real silver or did i get screwed on this one <laughs> so uh, let me know uh you know if, if so lesson learned and i if i did i need to go I'll have to go back to that coin shop and say hey look guys y'all 
you know, if I got screwed on this one, I need to go back to them. And, uh, and I'm pretty confident. I, I go there still quite a bit. So they, uh, I, I'm confident they would, uh, they would hook me up and onto that if I brought it back but, uh, and stuff. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger on that one. Also, the, I talked in my last video that the Libertads were, you know, really expensive and hard to find now. And, um, which is, you know, still true. However, when I was up there at this uh, other shop, I was kind of surprised to see that he he didn't have the one ounce lever tads. The, you know they, they they didn't have any of those. But guess what? I found half ounce lever tads. One, two. I got, I grabbed all three that he had. <laughs> so um, it really is one of my favorite coins, uh, along with the eagles and stuff. So um, so yeah, I got three lever tads that he had they were $22 each so definitely some you know premium on there but you know these things are you know the I know that like the one ounces are going crazy high I hadn't really I, I don't even have any half ounces this is the first ones I've got of these but um you know I know the I've seen the one ounce is going for crazy prices online you know 60 70 dollars a pop you know for you know on, sometimes on these on the one ounce ones anyway so, uh, I hadn't looked what the half ounces are going for. Uh, I, mean, I may look some more to that this weekend. Uh, to see what, I'm just kind of curious to see what, what they're going for on the eBay and stuff. And stuff. So, um, but yeah, so I was intrigued. I, I thought, you know what? I, since I can't find the one ounce like I wanted, um, when I saw these, I just went ahead and grabbed all three that he had. So, I just I thought, you know, let me go ahead and grab them. And uh, at, least, at least it's still Libertads that I'm kind of adding to my collection, okay? Uh, and then I'm also... You know, doing some generics and stuff um, as well, so I'm getting kind of rotty. And then last time, my last video, I, I mentioned constitutional uh, or junk silver uh, that I got recently. So um, I think it's kind of nice to, to have a variety. Honestly, it's like I, you know, I think it's something I find. You know, everything has kind of their. You know, everything has kind of maybe its pros and cons. But the biggest thing is, is that I think it's good to learn. And so. I think some other things I'm going to keep doing generics and then I'm probably at some point I want to uh, get into uh, generic bars uh, and try to learn that because and I actually asked them up there if they had any any uh, one ounce bars and they didn't have any uh, so, I, so I'd probably start there and then eventually I might get into you know some some bigger you know five or ten ounces and stuff like that uh, I'll probably avoid any any massive ones I don't I don't need any kilo bars and all that right now but you know, I think get started would be nice to maybe do some, you know, one ounce and stuff like that. Or, uh, and if they have any slightly bigger, or, you know, up to five ounces, thing like that, I may, I may be one to look at those eventually. But, uh, but so I don't want to get, I want to get some more of the generic rounds and the generic bars, uh, this year will definitely be a focus of mine. And then as I see nice coins, if they're premium coins that I really like, or I think they're going to be worth some mo uh, more money down the road, even more premium, then that's something I'll definitely consider and stuff. So, so I also I had a question to 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 ask everyone to uh, kind of get your thoughts. I, I was thinking about you know the, how high the premiums are going on the Libertads on the on the one ounce anyways. Like I said, I hadn't checked on these online, but the let's just say if, if the my average cost let's say for a one ounce Libertad you know since I've been buying those let's say my average cost is about thirty six to thirty eight dollars right somewhere in there let's just say thirty seven dollars or whatever. So the question becomes, if, if the time comes, let's say in the next six months to a year, let's say I can easily, uh, you know, I can pretty much, let's say I can pretty much double my money on a Libertad if I decide to sell it online, okay, eBay or whatever. So the question becomes, we, our one thought is, I could sell off, not say all of my Libertad, but let's say if I, you know, I only have like eight of them, but let's say if I sold six and kept two or something like that. Then one thought would be is I sell off a little bit while the premiums are, are really high and everything and maybe double my money or close to it and then uh, convert that over to two ounces of generic uh, silver or bar uh, rounds or bars either one and so that way I'm you know I'm getting I'm you know getting making more money back but then I'm also converting it back into silver and increasing my ounces right uh, which would be more your traditional uh, silver stacking. Uh, would be doing that but that way you're uh, what's inter intriguing about it is, is i'm using i'm using both methods so i'm using premium silver and flipping it over to generic silver and and kind of basically doubling my money 
uh, in the silver side. So uh, in, in overall ounces and stuff. So and I've got other things that I probably may be able to do that too eventually as well. And the another thought is this is where it's kind of intriguing is on the uh, you know the first in a series coins. Sometimes you grab if you can get those while they first come out uh, on the cheap uh, when they're fairly cheap in the beginning. Then, uh, which I did one rec uh, maybe a, maybe a few weeks or a month ago, I, I had some of those. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the Saint Helena, yeah, the Saint Helena coins. I got three of those online, and that's like a first in a series, right? And they're still out there uh, online if you want to buy. If you buy some of those, you know, if you hold, if you buy and hold some of those down the road, and I'm not saying immediately, but maybe in a couple years or three to five years or whatever, once they're hard to find then you may you might be able to uh flip flip some of those and then do it or you know take the cash out uh, uh, you know cash in the premiums and then go buy some generic and stuff so uh, there's another uh, first in a series coming out and i'm trying to think of the name of it i know it, it's a robin hood coin uh is the first one but it's it's like a, a, a myth of, or say myths and legends i think yeah myth and, myths and legends uh, series. I know uh, boldpreciousmetals.com, I know it had it on there. And so I'm kind of eyeing that one as as also. Now it would be nice to be able to get by at least five or more or five to ten of them at one time. Uh, and it's like, and right now it's on, on there for pre-sale and I, I'm sure other websites probably have it as well. But uh, you know, Bold Precious Metals is one of my favorite online dealers. But, the, uh, but that's the first in a series. So again, you know, if you can buy, you know, five to ten of them and, and just hold on to them for a couple of years and then uh, maybe eventually, you know, that, that'll be worth a lot more. You know, there's some of those first in a series can be worth, you know, a lot of money. It can be worth, you know, uh, you know, think about if you buy it now at thirty thirty three dollars or whatever an ounce, thirty two dollars, thirty three, maybe more, a little bit more. And then uh, the uh, in a couple of years, it could be worth, you know, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars or more. Uh, potentially just depending on the series uh, so you just never know which series for sure will take off but my point is is it can be can be you know worth uh the the risk a little bit spending a little bit of money on it now and maybe it pays off later and then that's when you can flip so even if you keep one or two and then you can flip the rest and you can turn that into you know that's what i'm saying so basically let's just say 33 dollars an ounce today if i take that risk and in, in a couple of years or maybe a year and a half or whatever, I can turn that, that $33, I can flip it into two ounces of silver, right? And so that's, that's the idea. And I'm using silver for silver, even though I'm switching out premium silver for generic. And then I'm also increasing my, ounce, my ounces for my whole collection or my whole stack and stuff. But that's just some thoughts. Uh, so let me know in your comments below. I'd be curious to see what you think. Have, have you done some of that? Have you have you sold out some premium stuff and then swapped it out for some generics? You know, let me know. Or have you done the opposite? Have you cashed in your generics and went, went to premium? Uh, you know, that'd be interesting uh, too if, if people done that. So, I'd be curious to see what your kind of your experiences are and what your thoughts are on. You know, is it you know would you cash out any Libertads uh, anytime soon with these hot you know with this high premium and uh, and flip it over to generic or something else? Uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, share the video if you have some friends and family that need to get on silver um, before it's all gone. Okay, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.